one of the most popular methods at the moment has to be drop shot fishing. It's highly effective for all predators, and I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step how you can type a highly effective drop shot rig. First and foremost, you need the correct components. Starting with the material itself, I'm using the Illusion Trans Khaki Fluorocarbon, and then today I'm using eight pound. This is ideal when you're primarily fishing for perch. If you're fishing anywhere where the Xander go a little bit heavier and if there's lots of pike this probably isn't the method for you but when there's lots of perch about it's deadly. First of all we'll pull about a metre and a half of fluorocarbon off. Should have our scissors there. Hope, hopefully my dentist isn't watching this one. Okay obviously we're going to need a hook. My hook of choice at the moment is the power point. I generally use a size 4 for smaller lures such as the micro fry going up to the 2 if I'm using things like the mini fry. So four, five centimetre lures, you can get away with a four. Anything bigger, that's when you need a size two. Now, I used to use a Palomar knot to actually attach the hook onto the line. And whilst that does the job, there is a better way to do it. And today I'm gonna to show you a knot that you can tie that will mean that the hook sits a lot better than it would do if you used a Palomar. First things first, we're just gonna pull the hook roughly into the middle of the length of line. So we start by forming a loop, which we keep closed by holding with that hand. And there's the hook, just hanging down there at the moment, out the way. From there, it's a simple case of twisting this loop around the strand of line at the top there, like so. And then we take the eye of the hook and place it back through the loop. And then we just pull it down and it's the type of knot that we need to pull down nice and evenly because when one side contracts we won't be able to pull on the other so I'm just going to stop it at this point and I think that's a that's a good point to show you what it should look like so as you can see we've just got the eye of the hook poking through now to make sure it sits nicely we'll hold the the point of the hook so it's nowhere near our mouth and we'll just wet that and then we'll just gently pull that down we end up with a nice neat knot now the first thing that you'll probably notice there is just how aggressively that sits out from the line. So that's in the optimum position so that when a fish takes the lure, the hook's in place to catch them. Whereas when you're using a Palomar knot, the hook tends to, to sag a little bit and the hooking potential isn't quite as good. Okay, now this is the way the rig sits. So the hook faces upwards like that. So below that, we'd attach our weight. Now a basic guide for those of you drop shotting for the first time, in still water you want about one gram of weight for every foot of water. In rivers you'll need to experiment a little bit more because obviously it depends on the flow. So with all of our drop shot weights they have this tapered eye at the top. And the reason they have this is it means that the rig's adjustable. So we can simply slide the line through there and the distance between the lead and the hook is how high the lure will fish in the water. Now as a starting point I tend to start at about 30 centimetres and adjust it because on the day the fish can be at different heights and even throughout the day depending on light levels um, they can move about as well so keep adjusting it once you get a bite you'll probably find that you uh, that you get a lot more. Now to actually lock this off on the line simply pull the line up into the top of that tapered eye like so. If we want to adjust it it's a simple case of pulling it back down and again, locking it off where we want it. Now, pinching the line like that obviously does damage it, but that doesn't matter because this is sitting below the knot where the hook's tied on. So it doesn't matter if this piece of line becomes damaged. Don't worry if there's quite a long tail, it's not gonna put the fish off and it allows you to adjust the rig during the session. Naturally, hooking the lures themselves is something that people are a little bit confused by. When you see people fishing with, with jigs, with a lead head, obviously the lures threaded on. But to get the correct movement when you're drop shotting, it's a simple case of nicking the lure on through the top of that and that means that you get a lot more movement than something that's impaled all the way around the hook like so. And also you've got a lot of hook exposed there so that when a fish does take it, it gets hooked straight away. Now we leave a reasonable length of line at the top of the rig and you can either use an Albright knot to attach it to your jig silk main line or you can do it loop to loop as you would with a hook to nylon. Either are really, really effective. So that's your basic drop shot rig. The key thing is to look for features, 
uh, overhanging trees, bridges, lock gates, anywhere where you expect the perch to be. And I'm sure that with this pretty basic setup, you'll catch yourself plenty of fish.